Now let us disassemble the KM900 phone. Remove the battery cover by lifting after pressing the battery locker on top of the phone. The battery can be removed by pushing to the top by inserting a finger into the hole for separation on the lower end. Remove the four screws. Remove the rear cover while turning to the right by inserting HERA into the opening of power key parting line in the state that has pushed up the upper part of rear cover by using a thumb after placing the window of front cover facing to your palm. Since the MMI socket can be obstructed when separating the rear, remove the MMI socket first. If the upper part widens, separate it by turning the cover to the bottom while holding the top left and right sides of the rear by hand. Separate the antenna carrier. After pushing a pinchette into the empty space on the side, push up in the reverse direction. Remove the speaker connector. Remove the ITO connector. Remove the connector by opening the connector socket and lifting up the upper right part of ITO FPCB using a pinchette. Separate the main PCB sub PCB. Hold the board to board connector on the left by using a pinchette so that the board-to-board -board connector on the side can be separated first. Then, remove the connector by slightly pushing up the sub-PCB. Then, separate the main sub-PCB by pulling the upper side of sub-PCB vertically. Separate the speaker module. Remove the screws of speaker module and separate the speaker by lifting up the left side of speaker module. Then, separate the ear jack by using a pinchette. Remove the LCD connector insulator by using a pinchette. Separate the 5M camera connector, illumination approach sensor connector, zender PCB, and coaxial cable. Separate the 5M camera. Separate the main PCB from the frame. At this time, arrange the coaxial cable at the bottom so that the disassembly of main PCB can be made easy. Open the LCD connector socket. Remove the VT camera connector from the main PCB. Next, B Remove the board to board connector on the bottom left side of PCB. Remove the LCD connector by tilting the main PCB.
Remove the VT camera FPCB. Proceed with the disassembly carefully so that FPCB does not break. Disassemble the ITO FPCB. At this time, proceed with the disassembly while holding the edges so that the FPCB banding part is not broken down. Remove the coaxial cable. Remove the mic FPCB. Next, remove the pad on the rear side of the frame. Remove two screws at the bottom of the frame. Now, disassemble the frame and front. Remove them while holding the lower part of the frame and lifting up the front vertically. Caution! Since deformation can occur when separating the front, Please follow the following sequence. Lift vertically in the order bottom, middle, top from the right side of the phone. Separate it to the level that the tape is removed on each point. Lift the front vertically in the order bottom, middle, top from the right side of the phone. Lift the front vertically while holding the left right side from the top of the phone. Separate the main window from the frame. At this time, after setting the heating gun to 100 degrees Celsius, try to separate the window little by little so that the window can be heated without damaging the phone. Remove the light guide plate from the frame. Remove the window tape from the frame. Remove the hooks fastening LCD at the top, bottom, on the left. Tip. This can be easily separated by pushing out after pulling both ends of the hook toward the center from the rear side of the frame by using a pinchette. Remove the LCD from the frame. After pushing in a pinchette or finger to the empty space at left hook, separate the LCD by lifting it up. Remove the sensor FPCB.
Separate the main PCB and sub PCB. Remove the shield can of sub PCB. After removing the hooks on the left and top, separate it by lifting the bottom. Separate the shield can of main PCB. Now, we have completed disassembling the KM900. Now let us begin assembling the KM900. Place the shield can safely onto the main PCB. Place the shield can safely onto the sub PCB. Fasten the hooks on the top and left after fastening the hook at the lower left. Assemble the main PCB and sub PCB. Install the sensor FPCB onto the frame. Install the LCD onto the frame. After pushing in the LCD FPCB between the holes of the frame, place the LCD safely so that it, it can be fastened onto the right hook of the frame by tilting the right side of LCD. Fasten two hooks for fixing the LCD. The top is black and the bottom is a silver color. Install the light guide plate onto the frame. Caution! Check whether the reflection sheet is attached on the light guide plate. Attach the window tape on the frame. Attach it according to the guideline at the bottom of the frame. Assemble the front and window. Assemble the front and frame. Proceed with the assembly by adjusting the six front bosses suitable for the six boss guide holes. Attach the ITO FPCB on the frame by folding it to the rear side. Assemble the VT camera FPCB onto the frame. Assemble the mic FPCB onto the frame. 
Caution. Attach the remaining part after locating so that the guide holes of FPCB match the two guide pins of the frame. After connecting the coaxial cable to the mic FPCB, arrange it to the guide rib on the side of the frame. Place the PCB safely onto the frame. First, connect the LCD FPCB to the connector of main PCB. Make sure that the side rib of FPCB is completely inserted into the inside more than the end line of main PCB. Assemble the board to board connector by pressing the left top and bottom. At this time, check the connection by the connection noise. Attach the insulator to the LCD connector. Connect the board to board zender connector to the main PCB. At this time, assemble it so that the vending part of zender PCB faces the inner side. Assemble the 5M camera. Connect the 5M camera and sensor connector to the main board. Assemble the speaker module and phone. After connecting the ear jack onto the frame, assemble it by pushing in the speaker module. Fasten the black 3.5 mm screw to the speaker module. Connect the coaxial cable to the main PCB. Connect the sub PCB to the main PCB. Connect the connector of speaker module to the sub PCB. Connect the touch ITO connector to the sub PCB. Assemble the antenna carrier onto the rear. Fasten two black 3.5 mm screws on the lower end of the frame. Assemble the folder assembly and rear. Check in advance that the two side keys on the top and right are not missing. Fasten four screws on the rear cover. Install the battery safely onto the rear cover.
After inserting the battery cover hook to the lower hole of the rear, make the connection by pushing the top side vertically. Switch on the phone. Now we have completed assembling the KM900.